This looks like somebody's overnight bag. What's, what's this exhibit about? Um, so this was something that was carried by an ASIO officer. Um, it is essentially called a defector kit. Um, so one of the most famous defectors in Australia's history, of course, is Vladimir Petrov. Yes. Um, Vladimir Petrov was a Russian spy and over a number of years, um, a double agent working for ASIO, Michael Bialuski, convinced Petrov to come over to Australia's side. And so Michael was an agent for ASIO at the time? Or? Yep. Oh, okay. Um, so an agent is essentially someone who isn't an ASIO officer, they're not an employee of ASIO, but they're someone who is doing, um, gathering information for ASIO. So there are different levels of this as well. There might be someone who just says, oh yes, I know that person's name, I know they're politically affiliated with this. Um, and he have a sort of more full on agent role in that he was liaising with Petrov over a number of years um, and then debriefing with ASIO. Um, once they had the success of getting Petrov to defect, the hope was that other people would defect as well. Um, we know this kit was from the 1960s um, because we were able to find the date of the toothbrush and the razor that's in the back. Um, but it's a really great example of where everyday objects can take on a new life when you know where they come from and how they were used. On their own they could just be pyjamas or it could just be a razor. Um, but it's with the notebooks and the notepad and the pencils that you know it's, it's part of that debrief process yeah. um, that would have taken place in a safe house. In the document that's next to it, that's from our collection, it details Operation Fair Mile um, and it, it lists um, Philip Crane on there and Crane was actually the secret, the alternate name of the agent that was working as well. Mm. Um, so it's great that we have this detail of, of the process of trying to get Petrov to defect. Mm. Um, and it was quite a lengthy one. Yeah. Mm. And once again, I just have to observe that really we're expecting male defectors. I don't see much in there for a female defector. Um, it's interesting, even when the Petrovs defected, um, it was shown that um, Mrs. Petrov worked as a cipher clerk. Mm. Um, so she would have had access to all kinds of secret information, but the assumption was that Mr. Petrov was the person in the higher position of power. Um, and you see this assumption quite often in ASIO files, um, and that's reflected in the ASIO um, organisation structure back then as well, where women weren't allowed to do intelligence work. Well, as a woman who gave us one of the most iconic images of the 20th century, which is Edvokia. Petrova. Yes, that one's actually at Mascot Airport, oh, Mascot Airport yeah. but when they got off, or when Mrs. Petrov got off the plane, it was in Darwin. Yeah. Um, the two very scary looking men on either side of her were actually armed as well. Mm. So um, that the police were able to come on board and say you're not allowed to be armed on an Australian flight, and mm. that's how they managed to stop the flight yeah. and get her off. Um, she also didn't know what had happened to her husband, so she was quite terrified, but um, a, an air hostess helped her make... Um, or talk to her husband on the phone and say, look, this is what's happened. Mm. Um, at that point, she'd been sort of under um, house arrest, under the pressure from these, these diplomatic careers. Mm.